like a pro, like a pro. Yeah, I'm trading like a pro, like a pro, like a pro. Taking profit like a pro, like a pro. Time to let them know. Bank on the phone, no, I don't need a loan, cause I'm trading like a pro. We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh? Stacking that money, stacking that money from the trades, huh? What's up, y'all? This your boy J Wayne. You know, representing Team Take Profits. And look, every trader gets into a season where the results are not that great. The truth is, no trader can stay disciplined 100% of the time. So, in this video right here, I have a very simple solution for you. I have some defaults that you can use when you go through tough trading times. Y'all know what I'm talking about. When all of a sudden you start forcing trade setups. All of a sudden you're rationalizing good trade setups when it's clearly a bad and you only recognize it when it's too late. All right. I'm talking about this solution that I have in this video when you're struggling with entries or exit, exit points. This video is gonna help you. This is a must watch, I'm telling you. What I'm about to show you, all right, supply and demand zones. All right, a different way to look at this, okay? You can add this to your arsenal when your trading becomes shaky, a little rocky, but even when your trading is going good, add it to your arsenal, it would just make you a better trader. But first, before we get into this video, please follow your boy J Take Profits on Instagram. All right, it's J Take Profits is in the link below. I'm not on Telegram, I'm not on WhatsApp. Follow me on Instagram, all my links is in the description. If you want gold and forex nuggets every day, content on Instagram that will motivate you, but also keep you on the right side of the market, then follow your boy. I look forward to chatting with you on Instagram, but without further ado, let's dive in. These supply and demand zones are powerful. I don't think we wanna wait for them long enough, but team, if you wait for these supply and demand zones, if you're, if you're not profitable, if you're sick of losing, literally, like just stop. If you're just constantly losing, constantly, talking about, oh, my wins are sm so small, my losses are so big. That tells me, I first of all, I feel your pain because I've been there, it's super frustrating. But I have to tell you what the problem is. I can't just soap with you and cry with you. I have to quickly get you out of that state of mind and get you onto the money. So the thing of it is, is, you're not learning how to cut the losses short. I have multiple videos on how to cut the losses short, ways and techniques that we use. That's the first thing is get out of the trade. Why are you holding a trade that, that long? Okay, so look up those videos. And if you have specific questions about it, then ask. So that's the first thing. If you're struggling consistently, if you're having a bad week, you need like half of the week is already messed up. You need to stop. Don't force your way through these trades anymore and, and, and mark up the supply and demand zones. You need the break. You need the break. You're going to get, you're going to be seeking after the money for so, so much that where you ain't going to have no money left. So take the break. Trust me. You would take one step back to take two steps forward is what it's going to be. So in that situation, mark up the supply and demand zones, go back. I'm about to show you go back in time and find supply and demand zones. Go back when, the, when the, the times that you're not trading, take an hour, take 30 minutes and just start marking up supply and demand zone. And I want you to use the horizontal ray, not the horizontal line, the horizontal ray. And so supply and demand zones for people that are new, maybe it's people new on here, they are areas where price come and, and leave right away. It came down here, left right away, shot down, left right away came down left right away um it did not sit here and consolidate like this like you see this area right here all of this little consolidation it didn't do that came up left right away mark that up i'm gonna keep it simple for you i'm not gonna tell you like oh this is not a fresh supply zone oh it's been hit already if it left if it came and left right away, mark it up. I don't care if it if it's some other stuff in the same past area. Right now, I want you guys to keep it simple. Mark this up from the wick to the body. Mark up the um the base, they call it. This was a rally base drop. Mark up the base. 
So let, let me just show you something and then I'm gonna get to Mayor and answer his question. How would I mark this up? This right here, this area, let me circle it for you. Look at this area right here. Well, I can say that price rallied from this little area. This wasn't a big consolidation area. Like you seen bigger, look at this hour chart. Don't confuse yourself. Look at this hour chart. Look at all of this craziness going, messing around. But then this is really small compared to the, all the other stuff that's on this hour chart. So you gotta mark that up. And how would you mark this up? What would this be a supply or a demand zone? This would be a demand zone because price shot up from it. It was bullish from this area. So in the demand zone, you buy. In the supply zone, you sell. Like up, like up here, let me see. So this is easy because it's at a clear top. But there are supply zones in the middle, in the middle areas. We gonna, we're gonna start trying to find the supply and demand zones in the middle not just waiting for absolute extreme tops and bottom. And we we need to we need to replay the market and back test to test you. Find them in the middle. Find them in the middle. All right. So here we go. Let's mark this up right here. Let's mark up this demand zone. All right, check that out. All right. So we have marked this up. This will be the demand zone. I just want you to look. This is this has already happened in the past, but this is facts. I just want you to see if you find these demand zones, supply zones, look, look what happens here. I just want you to first look. Let's just look. Let's just identify them first. Had you marked that way back there, it will give you a peace of mind in the future. peace of mind but that was a demand zone not not a support and resistance zone that was a demand zone look at that clear wins now i gotta tell you it's not going to be 100 that you get every single pip Every time the market come to it, I, nothing is going to be like that. We're looking for 80%, 75 to 80% percentages on our trades, win, win ratios. So that's all we need. Don't look for 100%. So don't look to expect every last one, okay? Risk management, using the right lot size will carry you through the, the losing ones. But all from that area right here. Okay, so these are wins. Now, when price get to them, when price get to them, I want you to build around it. We talked about that last week. I just want you to build around it. Identify that. Be, this should give people that's having losing streaks. I, I'm trying to give you a solution here. When you're having losing streaks, take a step back and mark up some, uh, supply and demand zones. Just mark them up, put the horizontal array, and wait for price to come to them. Because a lot of times, the reason why I'm telling you this, because a lot of times we're trying to dig out trades. <laughs> we're trying to dig them out. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. I know this video is impactful. I don't have to hope. I know this video helps some people, okay? This is what I do when I begin to be shaky in the market, when, I, when I'm not thinking clear. And, you know, I've been trading for six years now, all right? It's, it's going on six years. At this point, I can identify when I'm not thinking clear. And when I when I start feeling that way, I recognize it and I have some defaults that I go to. And this is one of them. All right. I have I have many. This is one of them. And I wanted to just share it with you because I really want to help you. I really, really want people to become profitable. All right. So comment below if you like this video. Comment below if this video helped you. Let me know how it helps you. Let me know if you're excited to use it. And also guys, if you didn't see my last video, right over there, I showed you how to overcome your fear when entering into, into the Forex market. A lot of people are scared to enter into the market. They get jitters. 
they get cold feet, this video right over there, click that video, is gonna help you, okay? Get over your fears of entering in the market. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and let's make this money, baby. Peace.